Ladies and gentlemen, inductee Frankie McClendon. Frankie was a special player very early on as an eighth grader. At Marshall County High School, he played varsity football five years and lettered five years. McClendon earned MCHS letters in baseball four years, basketball two years, and wrestling one year. He never lost a match to anyone his size or larger. His wrestling coach, Gus Smith, said the only reason he ever lost a match, Frankie was afraid he'd hurt the smaller guys. Congratulations, Frankie, a freshman at Alabama, the son of Mr. and Mrs. Lemuel McClendon. In his college entrance examination, Frankie made the highest score of that year's freshman football players at Alabama. Here he is being congratulated by three Gunnersville Wildcat players already at Alabama. Left to right, Roe Hall, Mike Mann, and Walter Curitan. Hall and Mann went on to star at Jacksonville State, and Curitan graduated from the University of Alabama. At the University of Alabama, McClendon was a three-year letterman, including a starter on the 1964 National Championship football team. Frankie played in two Orange Bowls, one Sugar Bowl, and the 1965 Senior Bowl. His professional career included 1965 with the Minnesota Vikings, 1966 with the Atlanta Falcons. What about the 1964 Bama LSU game with over 70,000 people, the largest crowd ever to see a football game in Alabama, packed into Birmingham's Legion Field to watch a battle down to the wire. It was close all the way, but the tide stove off two late LSU drives to clinch the game. Here's Frankie in action on those two late LSU drives, batting down passes on both drives. Now the second bat down. And watch the big fella strut back. Actually, Alabama's defense held as Frankie McClendon batted down a total of three bingo passes, although Frankie says it was four. And the game ended 17 to nine. And with this victory, the Crimson Tide clinched the SEC title. February the 15th, 1965, was officially proclaimed Frankie McClendon Day in the city of Gunnersville. Mr. MCHS came home, accompanied by his head coach, Paul Bear Bryant, along with several members of the Tide squad. After a career in teaching and coaching, the Gadsden Times selected Frankie on its Players of the Century list. Ladies and gentlemen, inductee Frankie McClendon. I don't believe I need that microphone. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Bill. Of course, a couple of you guys that play ball, you, you wonder why in the world I'm doing out there blocking all those passes down. I was an offensive starter, and, I, and Coach Bryant turned around and said, uh, I went down on a punt and had knocked a little half back over in those hedgerows over at Legion Field. He said, you fired up, I'm going to put you back in the game. I said, I'm going to get my breath, I, you know. But anyway, he put me in, and, I, and they called it deep. I didn't know where to line up. So that's how I wound up doing that, and you know, getting a place in history over accident. Of course, I reckon that happened in Battle Midway or where else, too. Talking about English, Bill, English is the only foreign language I ever took in college. <laughs> so, but it's a great honor to be up here. And I, of course, talking about support, I had support. I wish mom and daddy had been here to see this <laughs> and uh, promised they wouldn't do this. But uh, I got an aunt here, Aunt Noreen Burroughs. She said I probably hate her because she used to hold that football when I kicked it. I said, no, I don't hate you. I love you, you know. I got another aunt, uh, Helen Roan. I guess she saw every game I played out about. And uh, I got to thank my family, my wife, Diane, my daughter, Carrie, my boys, Josh and David. They the one got off all this information, all these lies. I mean, all this data here to give us. <laughs> and, uh, but I had a lot of support and couldn't do it without our coaches. And I had two good high school coaches, and I guess everybody knows about Bear. And they talk about getting these things signed by him. It took me three years to get that number 12 imprint off my behind when I left out. <laughs> but uh, I've got to thank this, this committee here. Bill, if I'm going to leave somebody out, I know, but you all did a great job. And it's like Greek says, we need to, we need, there's some more people need to be in here. So I want to thank you. You all did a great job. Thank you. Thank you.